Hello and welcome to your daily reading. Let's go ahead and see what your person really thinks and how they feel secretly deep down inside about you. Who are you thinking about? And if this is not about someone that is around you now, it could be someone that is coming towards you. All right, let's have a look. How does your person really feel about you? All right, first reading. Okay. <laughs> I am seriously thinking about not continuing this video, but there is a message. Spirit kept saying me, no, 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 keep going. So I'm going to keep going. And I hope this helps whoever this is for. We have three of swords. So this is about heartache. This is about disappointment in love, possibly a third party, betrayal, deceit, hurt, pain, tragedy in the heart. This is a very traumatic experience that some of you may be going through or have been through. This could also be your person. All right, Eight of Swords. Hands are tied, unable to do anything right now. Don't know what to do to make the situation better. There is things that I would like to do, but I don't know how. So my hands are tied. And that may be what is causing the heartache, the sadness and disappointment in love. So... Definitely some of you are going through a sad period in life or healing because this is a timeline. It could be a timeline of last year, two years ago, a month ago, yesterday. Let me know in the comments below, is this your story? Have you been through this? Because I'm tuning into you right now. We have Nine of Swords. Again, anxiety, sleepless nights. Feeling the grief and sadness. My hands are tied. I don't know what to do. And I, I feel really stuck right now. This could be your person. If it's not you, maybe you don't even realise this. Waiting patiently. We've invested in something. And now we're patiently waiting. What are we waiting for? We're waiting for a cancer sign, maybe. This is waiting for something to progress forward, someone to come towards us. Waiting for, uh, for some of you I'm seeing the driveway and the headlights at night to drive up the driveway. And when you see the reflection through the window, it makes you happy because you know that's your person. Let me know if that's your story. So we have either that or you going towards your person. Waiting. Waiting for your person. And then we can go the next level. This is about if you've been dating, going exclusive. If you've been exclusive for a while, Maybe moving in, which is perfect with the chariot because the chariot is also progress. Waiting for things to move forward, feeling heartache, grief, trauma, sadness, disappointment. However, this situation, it looks like it's taking a turn for the better. The world could be someone that's overseas waiting for them. Some of you may have been really sad because your person had to go and you're waiting for them to come back. Could be a long distance love and you can't sleep without your person but there is sadness. An observation, three of pentacles. Some of you could be going for a job interview, training and apprenticeship could be going to the bank. This is about resources, finances, 
observation of skills and um, what somebody can do. It's like going for that interview and then your boss or prospective employer is watching to see, can you do the job? And you show them that you can do it. That is the three of pentacles. So you're observing someone, you're seeing how they are. Maybe they're feeling that way about you. Nine of Pentacles. I really want to take things slowly. I really want to get to know you, to take it day by day. But I've got a long-term vision. I'm not going to leave you today, tomorrow or next week. I'm planning for next year with you. It's a Nine of Pentacles. Could also be going for a job, an apprenticeship or a new job. Uh, uh, with the nine of, Knight of Pentacles, it's about learning something and doing a job very, very well. Empress, nurturing, loving, growth. you got the world again. So for some of you, this could definitely be a long distance love. The Hierophant, this is a Taurus energy and the Empress is Taurus Libra, Venus energy, very sensual, very loving, very nurturing. The Hierophant, spirituality, religion, routines, it could be you and your person have a routine with each other, see each other every Friday see each other once a month this is all about routine commitment long time ago the hierophant being a five two being the anima and three being the animus feminine or masculine and the feminine and it's a spiritual union between the divine masculine and divine feminine and that is why in modern days they have a few different meanings to the Hierophant. However, that is the original meaning. Much like the Hermit. The Hermit has so many meanings now, but the original meaning is twin flame connection. It's ecstatic union between the star and the, the Hermit. With the Hierophant, it's about sacred union between souls, the divine masculine and divine feminine in a spiritual marriage. So this could be where your person wants to go with you, the commitment towards that. The Hierophant is also telling me that we have a strong spiritual belief. It could be verging or bordering on religion as well, embracing all religions. All right, so let's go ahead and get the energy oracle and see what other messages there are about how your person feels about you right now. Contract, weighing up the pros and cons, making a promise and a vow, maybe even signing some documents. Some of you, I'm getting a strong visa energy. If this is about a long distance love, perhaps there's visa issues. So your person may need to figure out their visa. Maybe they need assistance with this. Blossoming abundance. Money is contracted. Money is coming towards you. This is um, basically a harvest. This is blessings coming towards you that you've worked towards. With a harvest, we don't just get our harvest. We need to work for it. We need to plant seeds, don't we? We need to nurture the garden. And then the lettuce pops up, the carrots, the potatoes, tomatoes. Beautiful tomatoes make the garden so fragrant, don't they? So this is all about blossoming abundance. It's a harvest. It's about what you've worked for, what you've earned. You've got three and you've got six. Six is lovers in harmony. This is building something solid. And one more. 
Wow. <laughs> what a beautiful card. I love it. And it is four, even a stronger building. Four is actually strengthening the bond. This is about happiness, union, togetherness, bliss in, bliss in togetherness. Ten of Cups. It's all about the union and togetherness. This could be what your person is really wanting with you. How beautiful. I hope this gave you some insight and guidance. I hope you enjoyed today's reading. And as always, I send you love, peace and light. Bye for now.